I'm Todd with HVAC Parts and More. Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace a blower motor on a G40. The first thing you want to do is shut the power off to the system and confirm that it's off. After doing that, you have a couple of options on the blower leads. One thing you could do is cut the wires and leave them attached to the board so you can remember where they went. Or you can write down the color of the wire to what terminal it goes to. You want to remove your blower wires. Then you're going to want to disconnect the thermostat wires. This unit only has two wires connected to it. Some can have up to five wires. After removing the thermostat wires, you want to loosen the two quarter inch screws holding the control board. You can slide this assembly forward, pull the board off to the side. In the back on the blower assembly there's two 5 16 screws. You want to remove them. After removing the two 5 16 screws what you want to do is disconnect the limit to the blower. Then the whole assembly will pull forward. After removing the blower assembly you're going to want to set it shaft side up and you're going to want to loosen the set screw on the blower wheel. Flip the assembly over, and there's going to be either three or four three-eighths screws holding the blower wheel in. You're going to want to remove them. Set those to the side. Then there's a five-sixteenths screw holding the ground wire in. Remove the 516 screw. Then you're going to want to flip the assembly back over, shut the side up. And there's a couple of different ways of doing this. One way you could do is sand the shaft down and spray a lubricant down into the, around the shaft. The other way is to completely remove the set screw. a blower puller. Once you have the blower motor removed from the squirrel cage, one good thing to do is to remove this 516 screw. And the two quarter inch screws on the back side. this plate. This is going to give you access to your blur wheel. I would highly recommend taking the blur wheel out and spraying it off with a garden hose. After cleaning the wheel you want to reinstall the wheel. Reconnect the motor. Now that we have our bolts back in and our ground wire reattached, you want to stand the blower assembly upright and you want to center the blower wheel on the shaft. Then you're going to tighten down your set screw. And the set screw should be sitting on the flat part of the shaft. Then you're going to spin it to make sure it's not rubbing on anything. Flip the assembly over and you're also going to replace your capacitor which is a 516 screw. The purple wire from your motor is just going to connect one to each terminal. And then you're going to reinstall the blower assembly. Now we're going to reinstall the blower assembly. The first thing you want to make sure is that the screw holes are facing out as well as the capacitor and then you want to make sure that these are going into the blower rails and it just slides back in. Then you're going to want to reinstall the two 5 16 inch screws to the blower assembly. After you have the blower assembly screws reattached, you want to reattach your limit.
reinstall your control board. Tight and a quarter inch screws. Then you're going to want to rewire the blower motor to the board and you're going to want to do that as you wrote down or the, off the leads. After rewiring the blower motor, you want to reinstall the thermostat. This blower motor can be found at HVAC parts and more.